What's good everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all having a great night, day, morning, night, evening, whenever you're tuning in. Thank you so much for doing so. In today's video, as we do with every single Monday, we're going to be breaking down this week's sneaker drops, which if I could shorten it up into one word, it's more like it's quantity over quality this week. Unfortunately, there's a lot of issues dropping. However, not too many that are such a great high quality, but there's one or two or three. I would say about four in there that we're gonna that's gonna be like the main highlights of the week Which right off the bat I have to say is Jordan 2 somehow Magically we got Jordan 2 as being the highlight of the week I never thought I'd say that but I guess people like Jordan 2's all of a sudden because Nike's pushing them out like a madman So without further ado, let's get right into it and Of course, happy 4th of July if you guys are tuning in on the day that this video is posted Shout out to the Brits for taking a fat L many many years ago uh, we're not gonna be taking no L's this week though, you know what I'm saying, because we've got the Discord group, Time Away TV Plus, out here to keep us up to date on all information regarding drops, sneakers, not just sneakers by the way, but low-key flips, computers, sports cards, ticket events, uh, Amazon FBA, we just got introduced to that as well, we got free auto checkout slots in there on some releases as well, we just really, really updated that area, but... First and foremost, we're going to start off with a Stone Island and New Balance collaboration, believe it or not. They did drop Howard previously, if you did not know, but they're very, very, very expensive. I did not look too in-depth into this shoe. I mean, the quality on this shoe looks pretty solid. It's Stone Island and New Balance, and it's very damn expensive. If I'm not mistaken, it's going to be 300 US dollars. They did some great photography work out here. It looks pretty solid with the sole. It looks almost like a foam, kind of maybe inspired by Kanye West out here, as everyone is. And uh, yeah, so there's two different colors dropping this time around. In terms of the resale market, retail is once again $260. Market right now is a little bit high. It's around $400, $450. Bucks. Once again, still a pretty low-key release. If you're tuning in, congrats to you. But bids are just not there, unfortunately. Now, if we look at the first colorway, retail was $260 as well. And asks are still holding up around the... Well, I mean, it kind of, it's a pretty widespread, but you got like base size over here for a thousand bucks. Last sold none. Uh, so keep that in mind, but there's still pretty good bid out there. So 260, you're still making like 40, $50 profit off that shoe after fees. Um, bigger sizes look like to be a little bit less uh, sought after because, you know, designer sneakers tend to, listen, the big market over there for designer stuff is in Asia and they tend to be have smaller feet. So that's why I always say like high tier drops like this, I would say to smaller sizes. Anything under a 10 and a half, I'd say is pretty straightforward. And uh, you should be good to go with making some money. Now, don't expect any crazy margins. And it's a little bit of a higher risk. But keep in mind, free returns on sites like that. First Nike release for the week, we got the Dunk High Next Nature Sale. Retailing at a price tag of $130. US Dropping at 10 a.m. Now, this did already drop in the past. Another restock from Nike. You know... Nike, I feel like it's kind of losing that losing that exclusive feeling, just like Yeezy did completely. They completely lost the exclusive feeling of where like, you copy, you're like, oh, damn, I'm never going to be able to get this again. I might as well keep it, wear it, hold on to it or something. And people just don't feel that way anymore because they just completely killed that whole stigma with all the restocks. And I feel like Nike is slowly, not really getting there yet, but like these like Panda Dunk restocks and like the general regular Dunk restocks as well, these Dunk highs, these aren't special, but it just shows goes to show that they're kind of like okay with restocking anything that comes out. Uh, so just keep that in mind if you're holding on to any shoes. And I know if you want this shoe for yourself, don't even bother. You might as well just get on StockX for much, much cheaper. Uh, it depends on the size, like bigger size, eh, you might have to, you know, may not be worth it, but that's where you might make some brick foot margins for this week, but that's definitely a brick for the drop. Then we got the Jordan 1 Low Fly Ease retailing at a price tag of 130 US dollars. I got this colorway right here that this individual is wearing, kind of like a bread colorway. Interesting design. I actually sold a couple of pairs, uh, but they kind of did break down bad, so I did return a few as well, unfortunately. Uh, this has that whole zipper thing where you unzip it and you can slide your shoe and kind of zip it back up. I'm not a fan of it. I wouldn't wear it. It's definitely innovative and interesting, but not for me. It's the Biohack colorway, though, so keep that in mind. Pretty iconic with the whole Jordan 1 vibe. And it's retailing once again for 130 US dollars. And asks right now are pretty damn high. Uh, a lot of stores haven't got this. this is exclusive to Nike for the time being. And maybe select other retailers. Right now it's just Nike that has these announced. I would definitely try to sell pre-orders for these. And then, you know, cop on release date. Because it definitely will not be too hard to get. And I see market dropping on those pretty, pretty uh, down bad. Uh, the first Jordan 1 low we're going to break down is a woman's colorway. Which is going to be the Crimson Blue Bliss Rush Orange Sail Black. Pretty outlandish sneaker, it seems. A very bright and a little bit all over the place. Kind of feels like it wants to be a shattered backboard colorway, but it's just not there yet. It's like in the process of, of converting into it. I mean, if this is white, if all the salmon was white, I do think that'd be a very, very fire sneaker. And you've got the nice orange on the heel tab as well with the Jordan logo. 
Once again, a woman's $120 retail price tag, and you got these some from the $160 to $170 range. Uh, looks like a bigger size. They're kind of getting a little bit more undercut, and you guys can always check. You know, what I always look at is sales, volume, no sales volume, any bids. We got a couple of bids, and we got a whole lot of asks. So asks heavily outweigh the bids, so you can pretty much bet that its market's going to get undercut a bit more as you get closer into drop time and as online orders do come in. Uh, another journal one low, though, you can see th th about three times the amount of asks versus the bids for that one and a couple of sales as well. Pretty crazy sale right here, but it was probably a little bit too early for this drop. And I'd probably characterize that one as a break, but sometimes it will definitely be able to make you some money. Then we have the men's dunk high, which is going to be retailing at a price tag of 125 US dollars. Also, real quick, could be a decent hold till fall as well. Halloween vibes, kind of giving me those. Uh, this one, however, is a pretty, uh, this is another very, very bright sneaker. I got next on the heel over here. Um, aqua turquoise white, baby looking blue. And I actually kind of like that insole as well with the whole gradient look to it as well. Now, $125. It by now it's $125 as well. So uh, I definitely say you have to get really picky with this shoe on what sizes you're gonna go for. Definitely like smaller size is probably best bet. Bigger size you might catch a good sale here or there, but for the most part I'd say it's a brick for this week. Then New Balance, another New Balance sneaker we got is dropping on the 7th of July. Uh, now this one is also dropping, well it's dropped, dropping on Monday on Stone, or Tuesday I should say on Stone, Stone Island website, dropped last week in stores. But then New Balance has its own release of the 990 V2s, three different colorways, I mean two different colorways of the V2s, one color of the V1. The main one out of the three though is going to be this one right here, the Teddy Santis 990 V2. As you can see right now, retails $185, $195 apologize for the mistake and they're pretty much selling for you know okay margins i mean you're not gonna be making a hundred dollars on these like you could have before i mean i copped these early on amy on door i cop sold them pretty pretty early i think the end of may i think is when i sold them and i sold for actually pretty decent margins like 75 dollars profit but of course as more stock came in all online orders started to arrive that's when market starts to hit uh pretty pretty well so that's why as of right now what i say my best advice to everyone especially in the group i do push this a lot to the members is either a sell to consignment you know you can hold a little bit sell to consignment and wait for the undercars to get rid of at your local stores or a quick sell early early i mean like sell the like the day after the drop or even before the drop i'd recommend like what i do with tom Sachs, i sold this for 680 dollars and they went down to 350 now they're back up to like 450 480 but that does not matter to me because i still sold for way 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 over that margin anyways some kid was trying to come at me for saying selling now is a bad idea but it paid off in my book. Uh, then we got a restock, another restock from Nike. We got the Knocked Out Hot Air Step Triple Black. Uh, this is Drake's sneaker, the collaboration with Drake. We're still waiting on the Air Force ones, by the way. No update on those. Uh, we do actually have a pair of these. Uh, we actually did a couple, couple. We sold a few, and we still actually have one left. And they just got undercut it heavily over the past week and a half, and I kind of just gave up undercutting against people. I don't really like to do that type of stuff, but I just leave an ask. Hopefully it sells. And it's definitely way under that at the time being. I do think it's going to drop a bit more as well. Then we got another Dunk High, which is going to be a women's colorway. Not going to talk much about it because judging off the color, I'm pretty sure everyone can assume it's a brick. And uh, yeah, it's already under retail as well in some sizes. Bigger sizes, not so much. You might get lucky with a 12 women's, 11 women's. like catch a good sale. But once again, nothing I'm really too confident in. Then we got the Nike Dunk High Big Kids retailing at a price tag of $110 US dollars. Shopping on the 7th at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. If they made these a Dunk Low exact copy of these into a dunk low spot on perfect i think they'd be selling for like 60 to 85 dollars over retail however it's a dunk high not a lot of dunk high uh desire in the current market and you guys can see right now nothing really listed and no bits either it's a two-tone dunk though two-tone dunk low grade school sizes have been like kind of like the main focus really cheap buy-ins 85 dollars retail price tag and selling for like 160 to 200 dollars if not more depending on the color like the pink two tones went from retail Selling on retail on StockX to $250 on consignment within a span of like a week and a half to two weeks. They got bought up really, really quickly. The velvet ones. Uh, then we got another Dunk High grade school size. It's going to be dropping the same time, same date. Uh, kind of like, a, give me kind of like Heineken SB vibes almost, to tell you the truth. They made, if they made these a low, another color I could see doing pretty well. Uh, but market right now on this one is not looking too hot and definitely a good pass for this week. Uh, same day, same time as well. We got another Dunk Low releasing, which is going to be a woman's. I actually do like this one a lot. The other Next Nature Sun Club, I did cop a couple pairs of those. Wasn't a big fan of these. But I do like this color blocking a lot, lot more than those. Reason being, it's nice little white. It's a little bit more lighter and friendly to color vibe to it. And I think that's why they also made it a woman's. But I do love the back graphic the most on here. The Nike swoosh. Also kind of gave me Sean Weatherspoon vibes out here. Because he kind of started that smiley face uh, swoosh. Um, RIP to that man as well. Because uh, 
ever since he left Nike, his stock just went down heavily, 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 heavily. Uh, this one's retailing for $100, and yeah, it's actually down bad as well. So uh, not looking like a great flip for this Uyghur, and this is the other one I was talking about right here, as I mentioned. And this one is also another fire one, but this one is also looking, it's not for a little bit better, but still doesn't come out in the U.S. at a lot of retailers and Nike itself. So uh, we'll see how that goes, but it looks like all the whole Sun Club collection is just, even these, Damn, they're all really... I'm surprised because I really like them. I do. I like the color blocking a lot, but looks like other people do not. Uh, then we got the Jordan 1 mid. It's going to be the light smoke gray. Every time I see smoke gray on a Jordan 1 mid, I get excited. Retails $120. US uh, Market right now is around 150 to 170 Depends on the size and color. But the reason why I get excited, you look at every other smoke gray mid. They're selling for pretty fantastic margins um you got these asked up at around 220 dollars this was a woman's release as well bigger sizes not looking too hot but definitely like the more base sizes and the smaller gs sizes definitely the way to focus and where i would put a lot of the priority for this release and the jordan twos the, i guess one of the highlights of the week if we exclude uh the next dunk we're going to talk about uh the jordan 2 low nina chanel abney this is the white and ma just white and green colorway, I must say. $225 retail price tag on this one. Pretty expensive, but they're going for that luxe vibe with the shoes. So, like, higher quality uh, material, higher quality, like, branding overall. And it's a pretty nice, simple shoe. Not for me. Uh, Jordan 2, once again, has been heavily but quality. Looks pretty fantastic by the images, but don't let that fool you. Nike has on the past where images look fantastic, and the shoe just comes out really bad. But I do respect the whole uh, the movement behind the shoe. It's like selling for good money. I'm surprised because it's Jordan 2 low. I mean, it is a collaboration, so go figure. Collabs always tend to sell for more than retail almost 99% of the time. But I just, I don't know. Nike's been pushing Jordan 2 lows a little bit too much, in my opinion. I think they're going like too crazy with it out of nowhere. I don't like them. I still don't. I'll still buy them a flip, but that's just about it. Like, I'm here. quick flip those onto the next one. And that's just what I'm going to do with these as well. Uh, if I do get my hands on them, but should be a pretty uh, easy cop depending on how they drop sneakers. And maybe it will be dropping on a separate site as well. We'll see how that ends up going. And then we got the Dunk Low Lisa Leslie. Another woman's shoe for this week. A whole lot of women's sneakers dropping this week. We got the nice little Lakers-esque inspired colorway. Um, number nine on the back and you got that nice turquoise swoosh on it. Lisa Leslie was a one WNBA player and that gives actually a little story right here actually I didn't even see that uh, but team colors and embroidered nine the heel to pay tribute to the winning athleticism that propelled Lisa Leslie to be a three times league MVP in terms of the f Ooh, I did not expect that I did not expect him to be that's literally retail wow I mean, it's giving me an SB Dunk vibe. Once again, like the stuff on the heel doesn't really happen unless it's an SB Dunk low, which would be a fatter tongue and a fatter cushioning, a little bit different, a slightly, slightly, slightly different detailing. But this is just a regular Dunk and it's under retail already, which means that a lot of retailers are going to be getting this shoe, it seems, and a lot of people don't have faith in it. So we'll see how that ends up going. But yeah. Oh, oh, last but not least, I forgot to say, get up to date with your social, your local social status boutiques. They're going to be releasing the uh, the uh, Air Max Penny One Recess in two, di three different, two different colorways. Yes, you can see right here we got the fossil, kind of like kind of like Susie fossil in the black white. Um, I entered for these in store already. We're going to enter the raffle this week. Uh, something we always keep up to date with members as well. Uh, do they, will they slip for money? I definitely think so. The non collab, the Orlando one, came out. This 2011 listing, but the 2021 listing came out uh on last week monday and those actually sold for pretty decent margins like 50 75 dollar profit these are similar and a higher tier collab and looks to be a little bit better materials so i have a lot more faith in these i do think i'll be do you know a little bit like 50 to 150 to 200 dollar profit on these no problem of course selling early in my eyes is the way to go for these and that about rounds out this video hope you guys enjoyed stay up to date with everything of course check us out on instagram and tiktok we're posting up like unboxings there and a whole lot of other dope content as well so hope you guys enjoy catch you guys in the next one peace